In this video, I'll be going over how to design and customize an attention grabbing header for your Shopify store. Your header is displayed at the top of all pages in your online store and is one of the first things shoppers see when they visit. It's also one of the most important sections, serving multiple purposes for both branding and navigation. We'll go over the various customization options for your Shopify store header, including how to add your brand logo, change the color scheme, add a navigation menu, enable a sticky header, and more. You can use this guide to customize any Shopify theme, but for this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Spotlight theme. Spotlight is available for free in the Shopify theme store. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to customize your store header. But before we get started, if you haven't joined Shopify yet, head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you're looking to launch an e-commerce store, Shopify is definitely the most popular and in my opinion, the best platform you could use to build your online business. No credit card is required to start your free trial and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can select a Shopify pricing plan that best suits the size and the stage of your business. So if you're ready to take the plunge and launch your own e-commerce store, go ahead and click the link in the video description to try Shopify for free. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the theme customization menu. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the online store tab. This should take you over to the themes page. Here's where you can access your theme library, add new themes and customize your current theme. So to access the theme customization menu, let's click the customize button at the bottom right here. This will take you over to the theme customization menu. Here's where we can customize our theme and design our store header. Currently, my header looks pretty plain. So let's see what we can do to make it grab some attention. By default, your header will display your online store name, but I wanna change this to my brand logo. So to add my logo and adjust other important settings, let's head over to our theme settings menu. So to access your theme settings, let's go to the menu on the left hand side here and click the theme settings icon. This will open up a menu with several tabs that you can use to personalize your online store. Here's where you can add your logo, adjust your colors, add your social media links, and much more. So first, let's go back up to the top here and click the logo tab. Here's where you can add a logo for your online store and your favicon image. So let's start by adding my logo. When you upload a logo, it can be used in various places in your online store like your store header. So to upload your logo, go ahead and click the select button here. This will open up a menu where you can view the images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. For the best results, make sure your logo is at least 300 pixels wide and is in PNG format with a transparent background. So to upload my logo, let's click the add images button at the top. I can then find and open up my logo image. The image should then start uploading, and once it's finished, make sure you have it selected, then click the Done button at the bottom right. And my logo image has been added to my online store. If you look at my store preview on the right hand side, you can see my logo has replaced the text in my top header. If you need to adjust the size of your logo, you can use the desktop logo width slider bar on the left hand side menu here. This will allow you to easily increase or decrease the pixel size of your logo. I think I'll make my logo a bit bigger. There we go, that looks much better. So from the logo tab, the next thing we can add is our favicon image. A favicon is the small icon that appears beside your website name in your web browser tab. For your favicon, you should use a square image with the minimum size of 250 by 250 pixels. So to add my favicon image, let's click the select button here. This should open up our image library. So to upload my favicon, Let's click the Add Images button. I can then find and open up my favicon image. For my image, I'm simply gonna use a different version of my logo. So once it finishes uploading, go ahead and click the Done button at the bottom right. And a favicon has been added to my online store. Now when shoppers visit my website, my favicon should appear beside my store name in the browser. So we finished adding our logo and our favicon image to the logo tab. So let's head back to the main theme customization page and finish designing our header. So from the menu on the left, let's click the top icon here to go back to the sections menu. So we've added a logo to our header and adjusted our logo size. Now let's check out the other customization options for our header. If we look at my store preview on the right, we can see my header at the top with the logo that I just added in my theme settings. If you look at the menu on the left, the header tab should be enabled by default. 
So to customize my store header, let's click the header main tab here. This will open up a menu with various options for customizing your store's header. At the top here, we can use the drop down menu to select our desktop logo position. We can display our logo at the top left of our header, the top center, the middle left, or the middle center. When updating some things on the desktop version, you may have to click the expand icon at the top here to view the changes. If you haven't added your logo to your Shopify store yet, you can click the link here to go to your theme settings to upload it. Once you select your desktop logo position, you can use the next tab here to add a menu to your header. If we click the select button here, it'll open up a tab where we can view all the different menus that we've created for our Shopify store and where we can create a new menu if we like as well. If you need to create a new menu, you can use the option up top here. But for my store, I've already created my menu, so let's select it from the list here. Once you select a menu, it'll be added to your Shopify store header. If it displays the hamburger icon, you can simply click it and your menu should appear. So if we go down to the next section here, we can select our desktop menu type. We have three options to choose from, which includes a drop down menu, a mega menu, and a drawer, which is the hamburger menu. To view the differences between the menus, you may have to click the expand icon at the top here. So once you select your desktop menu type, you can go to the next section and select your sticky header settings. A sticky header will allow your header to stay on the screen as the customer scrolls your website. If we click the sticky header drop down menu, we can see several options that we can select from. If you don't want a sticky header, you can select none. But if you select on scroll up, your header will stick when a customer scrolls up your website. If we go back to the drop down menu, we can also select to have your header always stick. And there's also the option that I prefer, which is to always stick, but reduce the logo size. Now my header will always stick on the page, but when a customer scrolls, my logo will get smaller. For my online store, I think I'll go with this. Using the next option here, we can select to show a separator line between our header and the rest of our online store. This is great for keeping things organized, especially if you're using a sticky header. So the next thing we can do from our header customization menu here is customize our header color. Using the top drop down menu here, we can select the main color scheme for our header. There are several default color schemes that you can select from, and if you want to create a new color scheme, you can do that in your theme settings. For my header, I want it to have a dark background, so let's go with color scheme number four. From the next drop down menu here, we can select our menu color scheme. When selecting your colors, make sure you keep branding in mind. For instance, my logo is red, black, and white. So I'm gonna select to have a red menu with white text and my main header already has a black background. I think this all works together really well. If we scroll down to the next sections here, we can select to show our country region selector, our language selector, and our customer accounts login icon. And these are all pretty useful tools, so I'm gonna keep them enabled. Underneath this, we have our mobile layout section. Here's where we can select our mobile logo position. When viewing your online store on mobile, you can select to show your logo on the left of your header or in the center of your header. I think I prefer the center. And using the remaining options here, you can adjust your button spacing and the top and bottom padding of the section. But I'm just gonna leave these as is. So let's click the back button to go back to the theme customization main menu. So we finished customizing our Shopify store header for both our desktop view and our mobile view. I think my header looks a lot more professional. So once you finish making your updates, make sure you go up to the top of the page and click the save button. And all the changes to my header have now been saved. I have my sticky header with my logo in the center, my drop down menu with the red color scheme. And if you add links to your social media brand pages to your theme settings, you'll be able to see icons for your social media pages at the bottom here. Now when shoppers visit my store, they'll be able to easily navigate my store with my professional header. So that's a quick overview of how to customize your Shopify store header. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.